Hi, so we're going to uh, take a look at how to set up an online classroom. Um, so I've been doing this for quite a long time. I do have a paperless classroom and I'm going to show you the system that I use. Uh, there are lots of different ways to do it um, and I'll kind of explain why I do what I do along the way. So, uh, so basically the, the core of it is going to be the Canvas Learning Management System. Okay, and the one that we're going to use is at canvas.instructure.com. <clears throat> so Canvas is a uh, it is a uh, it's a web application. So it's a website um, that can be installed um, uh, at a number of different URLs. Usually um, it is open source. It can be taken and, and put on any server. Um, usually it is a software for service um, that is sold by Instructure. Okay, so Instructure is the name of the company. Canvas is the name of the product uh, sold by Instructure. And then they have different installations. So the reason why I'm telling you this is that <laughs> please be careful that you're at canvas.instructure.com. Okay, so that is the URL that we're looking at here. Right. If you just search Canvas on Google, uh, now I've altered my Google results here, so your, yours might not look exactly the same. But if we search Canvas, we get these links, right? So Canvas US SUHS, right? So this is Sweetwater High Canvas, right? And if you go to, uh, this is another Canvas, right? Oh, that is the same Canvas. If UCSD has a Canvas, right? So University of California, San Diego has their own Canvas. Um, yeah, so if you just search Canvas, you're not sure of exactly what you're going to get, right? So just be sure that you don't go to somebody else's installation of Canvas. All right. Okay, so here we are at canvas.instructure.com. Uh, you're going to sign up. The reason why we're using this um, is that there's a free for teacher version of Canvas. Uh, given away by Instructor. Um, it's great. You know, there are some limitations, but but the way that I'm going to show you how to do it, we there you won't run, run into any like file size limitations or anything like that. Okay, um, there are some drawbacks to using it like this. Um, if your district has a Canvas installation, um, the positives of using your district's Canvas installation are one, they might set up your classes for free. Uh, they might uh, put students into your classes um, and provide you with that service. Um, they might, uh, but on but if you use the district installation of Canvas, you might uh, lose some ability to say make new classes if you need want to, or make new courses, or they may remove your courses, or they might uh, just decide they're not going to pay for Canvas next year, and you might have to go move all of your stuff off Canvas, off the district Canvas, right? So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use the the free from Instructure Canvas. Um, this has been in you know this has been up for about five or six years. It doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Uh, and anything you put in, you can get out, and you can uh, it's all your data is portable, so you can download it and you can put it into a different installation of Canvas um, if necessary. Okay. That all being said, let's go ahead and sign up. So you're going to click, uh, you're going to go to canvas.instructure.com. Click I'm a teacher. Okay, you're going to get a free Canvas account. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and fill this in. And then click Next. Okay, so we have, um, we have filled out the form, we've set our password, and we've clicked Next. Now we're waiting for Canvas. Okay, so and then we're going to go ahead and click go to go to account. Okay, so this is this is Canvas uh, when you log in, um, and let's just go ahead and we're gonna we're going to um, we're going to go ahead and create a course. So here we have a course, and we're going to create our course. Okay, so we're going to click, um, we can click start a new course up here. Uh, we can all go to also click courses. I'm going to go ahead and just click courses and then click all courses. And then we can go ahead and add a course. Okay, so our course name, our course name is going to be, um, 
going to be uh, my class, okay? And actually, we're gonna we're gonna do it uh, more realistically here. So we're gonna do um, math one hundred and one, okay? And we're gonna create our course. Okay, so here we have it. So now we're in a course. Um, so that is going to be, uh, okay, so best of luck. So go ahead on in, create your course, and, uh, and then we'll continue on the next one.